Wait, on the flop, he'll show the first card? Yeah, so all this is up and he deals out our hands and he shows the first card before we Before make we make the bet. Right. Interesting. No bad beat, no. Oh, well, no bad beat. That, that's why they did it. Check this out. Okay. Okay, you're up, all right. Okay. Okay. One more jack. One more jack. Oh. All right. So, so you got, so you got down here too. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably beat him. Yeah. So I beat him. So okay. up here, I'm gonna get. I'm 20 bucks. I'm gonna get eight to one there. So I'm two. Okay, eight to one. Uh, nothing here, but I'm gonna win here, win here, and then here is gonna pay uh, four to one there. Okay. driving about almost a year now all right two and a half years ten years about 25 30 years what sacrifices you had to make to be a truck driver you miss your family more than anything your children growing up well sacrifice i didn't make no sacrifice this is what i want to do so i uh, home time with the kids sacrifice i would say is determination Right. You make sacrifice to go uh, nine to five every day to put money in somebody else and food on somebody else's table. So why not make that same sacrifice for your own self? All right. Have a bigger meal. Right. I don't really make no sacrifice. I just I went to school. I learned how to drive a truck, and now I'm driving. What are some issues ladies face in the industry today? <laughs> Male chauvinist. Ooh, okay, that's what's up. What are some issues drivers face in the I mean, in the industry today? Well, it's a whole lot of them. <laughs> Parking is the number one issue. Mm, you heard of the app, Trucker's app, right? I mean, Trucker's Path, right? No. Say what? Well, hold up. Stop. Pump the brakes. You don't know about Trucker's Path? Well, I am here with this quick announcement to let you guys know about Trucker's Path. The number one app for truckers that needs to find adequate parking space. Now, if parking space is the number one issue in the trucking industry today, then Trucker's Path, the app for truckers, will give you the opportunity to find any truck stop that has available parking. It's a app made by truckers for truckers because when you pull up in the when you pull up in the pilot fine J uh loves or what have you we will let you know if there's parking spots available. That's how the app works. You can go on there and it will say full, some, many, or whatever. If it is, then it also lets you know that there's a Maybe a gravel lot down the street or a mom and pops down the street that got plenty of parking spots. Trucker's Path. Make sure you download it today. You need to download that app. I don't do that. Well, a lot of them now with this computer and the law, different laws they got going on. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot going on this day and time now. Uh, the rate per mileage, uh, you got some drivers that are taking way below the rate per mileage is making it hard, harder to get the proper pay for the work for the work we're doing and stuff like that. Why did you get into trucking? I needed a job. Well, trucking been in my family for a long time. My dad and my uncles and all that did trucking. My mom drove school bus. And so it's pretty much been handed down. I got into trucking basically. I got tired of, I, I got tired of being the bottom man, basically. Right. I got tired of being the bottom person and, and I wanted something better for, for me, for, for my future, for my kids. My nieces, my nephew, more like an Empire Family Foundation, like everybody else doing on this land. Generational wealth. Yeah. That's what's up. Lifestyle. Lifestyle. It'll give you a better lifestyle. Okay. Okay. What money I've made in my life. What motivates me in my trucking? My family. What motivates me? What motivates me is uh, when I when I guess you know, remembering what you're doing it for. What motivates you in trucking? <laughs> Just 
being a man, having a job, the satisfaction of doing a good job. Money. Which is ain't money. Which is ain't money. Which is ain't money. Which is ain't money. With frustration. Sitting around waiting on a load. There you go. You're a dispatcher. Descri describe them from 1 to 10. I'm a 10. Oh, 10. Excellent dispatcher. 10 all the way? Yes. He's a 10. Put a little money in my pocket. Here comes the money. Here you go. Here comes the money. Describe your dispatcher 1 to 10. A dispatcher? That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. I'm, all, I'm everybody. All this right. Patrick, this and that. Uh, I'm, the tr I'm the driver. I'm the one. Like they say, you're the you're only. You're the everything man. You're the everything person. All even, right. Even if you get from employees, you're still the everything man. Do you think more training is needed in trucking? I really do because as of right now, I know for a fact they're just throwing these kids, young kids, in these trucks and by themselves and. That's what's wrong. Throwing them to the wolves. Yeah, just throwing them out to the wolves. Yes, nowadays, yes. But we put them out here too quick. Uh, yeah, I would say yes. It always, it's always going to be in training, anything and everything you do, regardless how long and how old you've been doing it. You're All still right. going to need training, and it's always going to be something forgotten. Oh, very much so, yes. All right. Yes. Driver facing cameras, a deal breaker. Driver what? Driver what? Driver what? Driver what? Camera facing the driver? Yes. No, that's wrong. Driver what? The camera thing is a, is a big support and help, simply because of how everybody else is driving, then they try to put it on the truck drivers, and the, the cameras help us out a lot. Driver what? Yeah, I think that's a little invasive. I can see on the outward point of view, you know, watching people like that or whatever, because due to the fact of all the stuff that we have to do to get hired at a job. Driver what? On top of being looked at inside the cabin. Driver what? I mean, where is the trust at for the driver? You understand what I'm saying? So, and that's a little bit invasive to me. Driver what? I don't want no camera. Driver what? I don't need no camera watching this move I made. All right. No, I don't want that. I don't go for that at all. What are the biggest reasons truck people fail as truck drivers? The biggest reason they fail? Yes, sir. What are the biggest reasons female drivers fail as truck drivers? I wouldn't say as a female, I would say as anybody, a human being, they fail at the lack of, because the lack of not paying attention. Well, that's, that go a long way. Some people stand away from home too much, they wild, they can't take it. And you know, some people don't want to just do the work. You know, like, well, this is work involved. Burnout, long hours. Yeah, right. burnout. Patience, determination, um, that motivation, that hustle in them. Uh, they say they got this, this, that, that, or that. And it's like when the storm comes and knock all the leaves off the tree, they can't wait to be patient for the tree to grow back the leaves. That's what's up. All right, that's a good one. I like that. Why does trucking companies say they treat you like family. Because they want you to come work for them. I can't answer that. That's to pull you in. They don't treat you like family. You're just an employee to them. Okay, I'm a male to a female. Mm. Living it. I'm a talk and everything to get what I want out of it. Mm. Living it. Mm. I'm a sweet talk to you, everything. Mm -hmm. mm. Living it. The, lower, the more I get your guard down, mm. Living it. the less your eyes is open on to me. What? Mm. That's what's up, the good ass answers, bro. What has trucking done for you? Trucking has allowed our family to produce a trucking company for ourselves. That's and eventually, up. you know, we have more trucks rolling out here. I got to see all of America. I, I, I used to be a plumber. I was a hell of I was hella plumber. People call me to this day to come do plumbing. I left plumbing, working from other people and everything like that, and like I said, I've been paying myself better with any of my jobs, 95 warehouse, plumbing, construction, whatever. I've been paying myself way better than any of these other jobs. I can take off days and time, emergency, and I ain't got to sprint to nobody, and I can do as I wish you want. I know my responsibilities, I know what I'm capable of, and I just go out there and do it. Something's done for me, and put me in a better place in my life. I make more money than I've made in my life. God is good. Yeah.